Okay, B9, problem number 12, looks like this. A paint store sold 32 paintbrushes for $172. The larger size was sold at $6 each and the smaller at $5 each. How many of each kind were sold? Okay, this is enough information to figure out how many paintbrushes of the smaller and the larger were sold. This is a system of linear equations, so the first thing we need to do is declare what our variables are going to be. I'll use X and Y. Okay, so X is going to represent one type of paintbrush, Y the other. So I'm just going to let X be the larger size. And Y be the smaller. In okay, case so remember what our answer should be, uh, at the end I should have X amount of the larger brush were sold and Y amount of the smaller brush was sold. Okay? Um, so I have my variables x the larger brush, y the smaller brush, and the next thing I need to do is set up my equations. Okay? So in order to do that, I'm going to have two equations, and I know that there is 32 total brushes sold. So that one's easy. The total number of larger plus the total number of smaller is 32. That's it. Okay. Now I bring in the money aspect. I know that we're charging $6 for that one and 5 for that one. So it's going to be 6x plus 5y equals 172. Let me go over that again. It's x is the number of paintbrushes sold at the larger size, and they're $6 each. So 6 times the number of the larger brushes will give you the total uh, price of the larger brushes, uh, the money brought in. Same thing over here. Uh, the number of brushes sold of the smaller size were $5 each. So five times the number gives you the total value of those brushes. For a grand total, if you add the two together, you get the, all the money brought in at $172. Okay? So there's my system. Uh, that's the hard part. Once I have that done, I can handle this the same way as we did before. Okay? Before, we either solve this by substitution or by elimination. In this case, I want to solve by, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do elimination. To eliminate, I'm going to multiply this top equation by a number in such a way that I'll be able to cancel out my x or y. So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the y by multiplying by negative 5. If that's negative 5y, negative 5 plus positive 5y is 0. Negative 5y, positive 5y is 0. That's what I want. So multiply that side by negative 5 and this side by negative 5 and rewrite that. So this equation becomes negative 5x minus 5y equals 32 times 50 is 160 negative. All right, that's the top equation. And then I go ahead and just rewrite this one because I didn't have to change that one. And now I'm able to eliminate. Add the two equations together. That goes away. Negative 5x and 6x is 1x. That's gone. Negative 160 and 172. 12. And that one works out nice. So x equals 12. That means 12 uh, is my solution for x. I'll write what that means in a second. Remember we called x the larger of the two brushes. Okay, but I still need to find y. So I go back to my original equation and plug in 12. I can plug it into either one to solve for y. It would be easier to use this first equation. If there's 32 total sold, 12 of the larger, that means there has to be 20 left. Right? 20 in order to make up 32. Algebraically, subtract 12 from both sides, and y equals 32 minus 12, which is 20. So x is 12, y is 20. Make sure you state your answers properly uh, whenever you're doing word problems. That is 12 larger brushes, right? Something like that, and 20 smaller brushes. Okay? That answers the question, how many of each type are sold? 12 big ones, 20 small. Okay? Uh, so that finishes the homework for that chapter. Keep on studying. you got to do a lot of homework in here in order to pass the course.